Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are continuing on with the AP Physics 1 uh, questions. So here's another kinematics for response question. Again, these are from the Physics B exam, but I think it's still good practice and for um, the AP Physics 1 test. So this is from 2005. The vertical position of an elevator as a function of time is shown above. On the grid below, graph the velocity of the elevator as a function of time. So this position, velocity is slope, it's change in position. So you kind of say like, well, here it had a slope, you know, in eight seconds, he went up 12 meters. So he's going up about 1.5 meters per second this whole time, up till about, we'll say 10 seconds. So for the first 10 seconds, he's going 1.5 meters per second. Okay, then he stops moving because he stays at the same position the whole time. So the velocity just, we'll say it curves a little bit down to zero. And it's zero till about 19 seconds. And then it goes downward and the rate is in, it goes from 12 meters to zero meters and about, I don't know, what's that, five seconds? So it's minus 12 meters in five seconds. That's uh, two, minus 2.4. So 2.4 meters per second, about there. across like that. Okay, so what's going on? Okay, so that um, does that one. Okay, so calculate the average acceleration for the time period t equals 8 to 10 seconds. So at 8 seconds is going um, 1.5 meters per second. Right, because he's going at the 12 meters in eight seconds, 12.5, 1.5 meters per second, it goes to zero. So the average, the change in the acceleration being the change in velocity over time, is zero meters per second minus 1.5 meters per second over 10 seconds. I guess he does it over two seconds. So that's minus 1.5 divided by two, or minus 0.75 meters per second squared. On the box below that represents the elevator, draw a vector to represent, oh, box below, represent, draw a vector to represent the direction of this average acceleration. The average acceleration is negative. Um, I have it on the next page. Nope, no, I didn't. Hmm. Oh, there's a little box here. I didn't grab in the picture. Okay, there's a little box here. I didn't grab on the problem. Draw a vector to represent the direction of the average acceleration. Um, since vertical position is up, since acceleration is down, it's down this way. So this is the direction of the acceleration. So that wraps up that kinematics question. So yeah, I think that was pretty straightforward. That was a pretty short free response question, but yeah. All right, thanks. We'll move on to the next one.